I used to be an actor. Uh, I was hired and fired from every soap in New York City at one point. The, the role that had the, most, uh, that had the most success was a character on uh, One Life to Live named Nash Brennan. Uh, he was, he, he's kind of, a, kind of a stock character. He's the bad boy who could be fixed, but you know, only be fixed by the right woman kind of, kind of thing. What I wanted was to do something very different than what I've been doing. I wanted to do something polar opposite. My name is Forbes March. I own and operate the New York Firewood Company. We kiln dry, uh, package and deliver specialty firewood down to Manhattan and the surrounding suburbs. Predominantly to restaurants, pizza ovens, and smokehouses. This is it. This is my spot. When I have full staff, I have 12 to 14 guys now. One guy does the cutting and the pre-splitting. We have uh, another person does the re-splitting. Then we have between two and four people packaging the wood. Uh, we have two drivers and two driver's helpers. And trucks go out very early. They, in the wintertime, they won't get back till midnight, and the truck goes out again the next morning around 4.30. So it's a tight turnaround. I mean, on bad days, I, I, I just kick myself in the ass. Days when no one turns up and all the equipment breaks down, and then I, I just look at myself and I'm like, dude, you were wearing a tuxedo being paid to present at the Emmys a few years ago. What are you doing? And then there's days like today when it's just unbelievably beautiful out. It's, it's quiet, crickets are out, the guys are happy. You can't see the sky in Manhattan the way you can here. There's two kinds of hickory. One has that really smooth bark and another one has this flaky bark. I don't know. I don't quite understand the difference. The, the trees that we get are trees that couldn't be used for lumber. I've got some great loggers, bring me exactly the logs I want. This is a pile of ash just to my left right here. That's what the restaurants take. There's a pile of oak, a pile of maple over here. Uh, we have a pile of cherry over there that has a wonderful flavor. It's very smoky, it produces a lot of smoke, which isn't great for pizzas, uh, but for meats, it's fantastic. The smoke has a cherry flavor and we'll actually infuse the food with a cherry flavor. It's fantastic. We have a pile of hickory behind me as well. Uh, bacon. If, if bacon isn't cooked over hickory, it's just a pork chop as far as I'm concerned. You know, it's funny. I, I, I miss everything I've ever done. Sure doesn't feel like it suits me on days when I'm screwing everything up, but it's definitely where I'm at. It's, it's, it's what I want to be doing. My, my daughter still, still teases me that this is just research, you know. 